Okay, traders, it's time for me to stop trading. Uh, IBM is doing uh, just great, just moved under the lows. On the other side, we've got beyond moving over the highs. So as you can see, my result is quite good today. I'm up over $6,000. I've got a few hundred dollars also open in my open trades, getting close to the $7,000 mark. I've got one, two, three, actually four green trades. One of them is hiding here in this uh, loss in mRNA because my second trade in mRNA was a losing trade. So I've had four winning trades, one losing trade, which is quite a good balance. If we take a look at uh, what I've done today, then, you know, mRNA just initially out of the gate started with a gap down that should have been a gap and go. We did work out nicely. We shorted it right over here. So that was a beautiful trade once it came down. But when it stopped doing that good, that was uh, where my stop should have been and have been. But I did have a second trade, which looked great and was supposed to continue. But for some reason, if you take a look at uh, pharmaceutical companies like mRNA and NVAX, I don't know why, changed direction. And my second trade um, uh, took me under in mRNA. So I had two trades in mRNA and the end result is red. On the other hand, uh, look at how beautiful IBM came down and continued with the trend. That is in fact with the market direction because the market started with a gap up today and also coming down. So we shorted IBM right here at 129.50. Initially worked out nice, came up a bit and then continued coming down. I'm still riding it with just 100 shares now and it's doing ring good. Uh, my probably the nicest trade I had today was uh, beyond. Uh, it's my biggest winner too. You can see that I'm up over $3,000 and with my open trades over $4,000 really. So beyond, definitely moving higher. Very, very strong. Now let's take a quick look at uh, the daily of beyond. Here it is. So you see that beyond is, I mean, that's a very strong upside day today. We don't see much in the past few days, but we definitely saw that... Uh, so there's nothing to see really on the on the daily. I actually for, remembered something else, but uh, <laughs> I must be mistaken. Anyway, if I move back to the interday of Beyond, Beyond was definitely proving to us it wants to move higher. Initially started with a gap up, came down almost to close the gap, which is quite normal. And stocks usually when they close the gap or close to closing the gap, that's usually quite a big reversal point. Always remember that. When you see a stock starting with a gap up and coming down in the direction of closing the gap, don't trust it to continue. And although Beyond came down, it did not continue coming down because usually stocks are just coming down in order to close the gap. And Beyond was very, very strong today, moved up very strong. There were some opportunities to go long here, but um, and the market was moving higher. So this could have been a nice entry. I did not spot that point, but we did go long over 132, which is right over here. And uh, well, it went sideways for a while, uh, was sometimes at the point of a risk of moving out but uh, and that was a point you know what when I moved in at 132 and it came down you see this bottoming tail here I trusted it to continue higher I said so in the trading room because you look at the intraday formation it does not look to you like it wants to come down that's a stock that could have some intraday noise and then most likely come up again and that's what it did and so nicely so we took it over 132 and uh, we've got uh, almost two and a half points right now. We had a bit more than that. And I'm still riding just 100 shares. But that really is looking beautiful. And that's my best trade today. So a nice green trade, a nice green day and um, a small green day yesterday. So, so far, a perfect green week. And I hope you guys are doing the same. So thank you for joining. Thank you for being with us in the trading room. And um, you guys on YouTube too for following us. Looking forward to trading with you all tomorrow. The market is coming down. You can see that the Nasdaq is right now moving uh, to a new low. And um, just uh, as a reminder, we've seen the S&P holding close to the highs when the Nasdaq made its first move down under the lows. And, you know, what counts really is the Nasdaq. And we did have some kind of a pre-warning when we were watching the Nasdaq. It does not always happen, but the Nasdaq is very often your crystal ball. 
And when the Nasdaq did come down under the lows, I started thinking, well, maybe I should take a better uh, hold on to IBM and get a better partial. Because my first plan in IBM was to get a 50 cent partial as my stop loss. I was playing a one to one risk reward approximately in IBM. But when I saw the Nasdaq coming down, I thought, well, maybe the S&P is going to join. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes it does follow. And it did. And IBM did much better. More than the point, because the S&P came, finally did come down under the laws. Just remember, the S&P is in green territory, so I'm not sure it's going to be red for the day. It still is holding up. The Nasdaq is a bit red today. So there's still some time to see how the market is going to finish today. But always remember to watch the Nasdaq and the S&P together, because Nasdaq may give you some kind of a pre-warning of, of what may happen to the S&P. So that's it for me today. Thank you very much again for joining and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free welcome course. It was designed to teach you the basics of Wall Street trading. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.